Hello everyone! Within the Babylon 5 universe, there is an abundance of vessels of all ranges of technology. The greatest among them when it comes to younger races are the Membari ships in the White Star, which contains Membari and Vorlon technology. After the creation of the Interstellar Alliance, there was room for another vessel to be created to help defend their borders in a way that the White Star does not have the ability to, and this class of ship was the Victory Class Destroyer. The Victory Class was initially a prototype vessel with a total of two ships created in a joint effort between the Earth and Membari government. The main idea was to produce a destroyer class White Star. The White Star was a powerful ship but lacked the firepower that the Alliance needed to defend off unexpected enemies such as the Drak. To find out how powerful this vessel is compared to the other government ships within the Babylon 5 universe, we have to review its background and then break down the ship into three main parts, its engines, defense, and then armaments. Initially, the Interstellar Alliance, or also referred to as the ISA, built two destroyers called the Victory and the Scalibur under the supervision of Michael Garibaldi. This project was a joint effort between the Alliance and Earth to create a destroyer class White Star. This vessel was built with Membari and human technology in hopes to create a vessel that can be built for decades to come. There's also a small portion of Vorlon technology which was taken from a White Star and what was derived from studying their weapons. When it comes to destroyer's engines, the Victory class uses a gravitic propulsion system, which is the same system used by the Membari. For thrust, they use a navigation thrusters, which allows the Victory class to travel through space at speeds uncommon for a ship that size. At a length of 2,990.31 meters and at a weight of 310 million tons, this vessel requires powerful engines to propel this vessel through their universe. The reactor that's capable of powering such a vessel is a piece of hybrid technology from the Membari and Vorlons called a gravimetric reactor. There are less powerful gravimetric reactors from other races such as the Vri, but they're too weak to power weapons such as a quantum discharge cannon which was created by using Vorlon technology. Lucky enough the reactor on the Victory has enough power to operate such a weapon. Now let's review the ship's defense abilities. There are three elements when it comes to the ship's defenses. Number one would be the ship's hull which is made up of plasteel which is material that has elastic of plastic and the heat persistence of metal. This material is also combined with crystalline armor mesh which is supposed to be one of the strongest armor used by the younger races. The second element is a Membari stealth device which is an advanced electronic countermeasure to prevent other ships from locking their weapons on the destroyer. The third element is the vessel's tractor beam which allows the destroyer to lock on transporters and fighters with ease and preventing them from fighting back. It's also been reported that the destroyer also has a gravitic defense field that reduces the impact of energy weapons, but it's unknown if this is a real ability that the vessel has. What was seen in the show was the vessel having a defense grid of pulse weapons, which defended the vessel from fighter attacks. Now let's review the ship's armaments. When it comes to their weapons, there are four types. The Quantum Discharge, Neutron, Fusion Beams, and Anti-Fighter Pulse Cannons. The Quantum Discharge Cannon, or also referred to as Lightning Cannon, was derived from studying Vorlon technology. The vessel has a total of nine of these cannons. Eight of them are heavy cannons which is spread out throughout the vessel, while the one super cannon takes all the vessel's energy and fires at the head of the ship. Once the super cannons fire, the ship is vulnerable to attack due to the energy drainage from the cannon. There's also weapons on the ship's hull, such as the heavy neutron and fusion beam cannons. Unlike the anti-fighter pulse cannons, these weapons have the ability to harm battleships, while the pulse cannons are only powerful enough to damage or destroy fighters. The destroyer also has a squadron of thunderbolt fighters to help with various missions and to protect the ship from attacks. In conclusion, the destroyer has enough firepower to even cause issues to a Charlotte war cruiser and possibly destroy one after using the lightning cannon. Overall, the Victory class was exactly what the Alliance needed, a White Star that can provide enough firepower to even rival their most intimidating enemy. In my opinion, the Victory class was great for missions in the Outer Rim due to the vessel's firepower and the ability to carry the required equipment. In many ways, the destroyer is a moving base and has the ability to perform medical and scientific needs while also defending itself from enemy attacks. Let me know your thoughts on how powerful the Victory Class Destroyer is compared to the other first one's vessels. If you like this video, then please like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification button to keep yourself updated with my channel. For more sci-fi content, then please check out these other two videos and my socials. Thank you for watching Utopian Broadcast, and I'll see you next time on my channel. Thank you.